What's up everyone, Diego here. Welcome back to the channel, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing the latest Adidas Micro Bounce T1s. Check it out. So, right off the bat, we've got the black on black Adidas box. It is a flip top. You've got the Bounce logo on the front and sizing details I went with a size 10 this color is a cream white and black without further ado let's crack it open ooh nice touch we've got bounce logo on the paper wow these things are very striking wow These are the Micro Bounce T1s, baby. All right, let's get a better look at them. So first impression of these, when I first saw a photo, I couldn't help myself but be reminded of a set of roller skates from the mid 90s, all right? With all the little wheels on the side, but at a closer glance, you can really see that it's the Micro Bounce cushioning system by Adidas. Now, this system was first introduced in 2007 and then later re-released in 2011. And so now we're back 2020 with the latest Micro Bounce T1s. Now this colorway is the black and cream white. The one other colorway that came in these this year was the yellow on yellow, just all yellow. Now this shoe here features a really nice color palette of pastel colors, starting with your iridescent blue there on the tip of the toe and the micro bounce on the bottom starts with a turquoise green going to a baby blue and then finishing off with light pink on the back. Also on the bottom, you've got hits of signal green that are kind of subtle, not bad. It's also worth noting that you've got some 3M reflective material around the rim of the shoe. You really can't tell until you hit the lights, but it's right across the top and a little bit here around the laces. So the upper of the shoe features a layered mesh material that is very durable. You also have black suede that matches the upper and black laces, as well as the squishy bounce logo there on the tongue. The heel of the shoe consists of a hard plastic fanned heel design for more breathability, since this is a running shoe, technically. And of course, you've got the Adidas three stripes on both the lateral and medial sides of the shoe. So the iridescent blue and cream colors of the shoe are made of a lightweight, glossy patent leather. Now the real eye catcher of this shoe is the midsole, which is made of a hard rubber. The cushioning material of this hollow design is made of high polymer material and is more durable than Boost. It is very shock absorbent and can take the bulk of uneven ground by bending and warping, giving you an inch of clearance as not to reach the bottom of your foot. On the bottom of the shoe, you've also got the Bounce logo and the Adidas badge to remind you of the collaboration there. Now the tongue and collar of the shoe features lots of padding for a snug fit. Now when you do remove the insole of the shoe, it is quite interesting what you get. You can see right through the bottom of the shoe there. Now, you might wanna be careful if you're stepping in puddles, but you do have this inch of clearance at the very least. Now at least this shows off. The inside is made of this hard plastic that covers the heel and about three quarters of the shoe on the inside is just like that. The insole is really padded and cushioned to make up for the fact that there's no other cushioning on the inside of the shoe. It's quite beautiful, and I would just put these in just about any other pair of shoes if I had some extra ones of these. All right, so let's talk about comfort. These shoes, out of 10, I would rate at a solid six, maybe six and a half out of 10. Uh, they are meant to be for running, and I honestly don't see myself running in these that much. Uh, I wear a pair of Ultra Boosts on the regular, and those, I mean, the cushion support system on that is just unparalleled. The shock absorbing technology of the midsole 
is definitely there for walking on uneven, jagged rocks. So that's a plus. But the glossy color tones and the sort of fresh look of it makes me think you might not wanna scuff up the shoe and take it out hiking. Now, if you're wondering in comparison to Boost, I would say these are not quite there. But if you're going for a casual wear, a striking look, these are definitely going to overcome jagged obstacles on the pavement. So let's talk about sizing real quick. Uh, my true to size is a nine, and if I could have, I would have gone with a nine and a half. Now I did only get these in a 10 because they sold out instantly, and 10 is all that was left. So I got lucky because I think with an extra thick pair of socks, I could get away with these and casual wear. And as you can see, the shoe is pretty straight and doesn't have a lot of flexibility there by the toes. So you might wanna go half size up to allow more room there on the tip of the toe. So we've covered the other points, but you're wondering how much do they cost? Well, retail price on these was 160 US dollars, not including tax. Now they sold out immediately so fast that I could barely even get the size I wanted. I had to go a half size up. So if you're ready to come up on a pair of Micro Bounce T1s, get ready to fork up a little bit of cash. All right, so in conclusion, let's get down to the questions. Do you think this shoe is worth the price? Let me know down below. Do you like the colors? Do you prefer that all yellow colorway? Maybe you're hoping they'll release more colorways. Do you believe in the Micro Bounce T1 technology? These things are so unique and out of this world do you see yourself running in them? Do you see yourself hiking in them? Or just a little casual wear? Let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, check out my other videos, and make sure to thumbs this one up. In the meantime, I will catch you on the next one.